when the narcissist doesn't want to see you anymore. When they stop talking to you, when they stop answering your calls, they stop wanting to see you in person. There are a few reasons why they might do this. But one of the main reasons is because they know you know who they really are. They know that you figure them out. And once you do that, you can no longer validate their false self. You can no longer give them positive narcissistic supply. They need someone who is going to view them in the exaggerated way that they would like. But once you've seen what they're really about, you can't do that anymore. And that stops them from getting supply. Which is one of the main reasons why they would ever want to see anyone. Now the only way that they can get supply is by not seeing you anymore. When you see through their false self, it makes them feel worthless and insignificant. So from that point on, all they're going to do is try to project these feelings onto you. Because any time that they see you or talk to you, it just brings up those feelings all over again. It reminds them that their false self isn't real. It reminds them that it's all a lie and that they're not as great as they make themselves out to be. So once you have seen through the false self and exposed them for what they really are, they're not going to want to see you anymore. Once the relationship starts going bad and you have arguments or disagreements, at that point they have to make a choice between you and their false self. And no narcissist is ever going to choose their source over their false self. It's just never going to happen. Without the false self, they would go insane. They would lose their minds. But once you've figured them out, they can only choose between you or their false self. They, they can only choose between you or protecting their image and reputation. And a narcissist's image and reputation is all that really matters to them. All they care about is how they look to other people. They only care about superficial things. They don't care about anything deep or meaningful. It means nothing to them. They will make up stories about you and act as though you did them wrong while secretly knowing that how they treated you was not right. But they have to protect their false self. They have to save their image and reputation. When the narcissist thinks of seeing you again, one of the main things that will stop them is how it is going to look to other people. After they've just gone and told everyone all these horrible things that you are meant to have done to them. After they have told everyone that you are the problem. If they come back to you and try to fix things, that would be like they are admitting that they were the problem. And that is something that no narcissist is going to do. They have too much pride and arrogance. They don't value human connection. All they care about is fake superficial things. And that is why once you start having problems in the relationship, sometimes they won't want to see you anymore. Because every time they see you, it just reminds them of everything they did to you. It makes them feel shame. And they want to live in their fantasy world where they can pretend that you are the problem, where they can pretend that you are not good enough for them. Then they can feel like their false self exists then they can feel like they are superior to you. And it also makes you chase after them. It makes you want to see them again so you can try to figure out what just happened. 
which also makes them feel like you were the problem. Because if they did you wrong, why would you be, why would you be going back to them? Why would you still want to see them? Another reason why the narcissist doesn't want to see you anymore is because they just got bored. Once they've learned you and they've been around you for a certain amount of time, they will always get bored. A narcissist cannot sustain a long-term relationship for this reason. They're adrenaline junkies. They need constant entertainment. More than what one person can provide. This is why they will often have multiple sources of supply. But every supply has an expiry date and they know this. Which is why they never invest too much of their time or energy. Because they know at some point it's going to end. They know at some point your attention is no longer going to have the same effect on them. So they hold back. They stay distant. Because they already know what's about to happen. They already know that it's going to end whenever they get bored. Whenever the supply loses its potency. But even if the supply never ran out, they still wouldn't be able to sustain a relationship. Because deep down they believe that they're not meant to be loved. They love the fantasy and the idea of love. But from what they've experienced in their childhood, all of the abuse and neglect, they feel unworthy of love. Because no one ever loved them in their childhood. No one made them feel loved. So they grow up not even knowing what love is. They value superficial things over love. And they want people to attach to them. But they never want to attach to you. Because of what they've learned in their childhood. They've learned that attachment will only result in them being exploited and hurt. They avoid intimacy because deep down they feel that they are not worthy of it. They would rather chase people's attention instead. Because at least then there are no emotions involved. There's no risk of them being hurt. And that's why they created their false self. Because they felt that who they really are is not worthy of love. And when you're asking the narcissist to see you again, you're telling them to bring back that person who they believe is unlovable. And that's why there's just no way that they're ever going to come back. Because no one would willingly put themselves in a position where they are going to feel unlovable. No one wants to feel that way. So they'll still ghost. They can't deal with that. They'd rather just be their false self and live in their fantasy world. At least then they can protect themselves. At least then there's not much chance of them being hurt. But the irony is that they end up programming themselves in a way to block and deny the very thing that they always wanted because they are afraid that they might end up feeling unlovable. Because they believe that if they were to be vulnerable with you, there's no way that you could ever love them. If you knew what they were really like. And even when you say that you love them, they know that's not true. They know that you just love who they think they are. The fantasy. Because they know that they never revealed who they really are to you. And they never will. They believe that who they really are 
could never be loved by anyone. So they hide it. They bury it until it no longer exists. Even though that might have been the very thing that you needed to see. The very thing that would have helped you to connect to them. The narcissist definitely does not want to see you anymore. If you have progressed since they left you, if you have become happy and healthier, if you have become more successful, they're not going to want to see you anymore. Because then it really rubs it in their face that they were the issue in that relationship. They were holding you back. Because if they were so great, you would have manifested all of this while they were with you. And if you were the problem like they said you were, your life would have deteriorated after they had left you. If you're doing better, that just tells them that there was something wrong with them. So they're not going to come back. They're not going to want to see you anymore. They're not going to want to give you the satisfaction. They're going to stay hidden somewhere where they can lick their wounds. Because they know that if you're happy and healthier, if you have become more successful, there is no place for them in your life. They know where their place is. They know where they belong. And once you've elevated to higher levels, they're never going to feel comfortable around you. Winners gravitate towards each other. Winners feel comfortable around each other. A narcissist will never feel comfortable around a winner. All they can do is try to bring you down to their level so that they can feel more comfortable. And if they can't do that, if you figure them out, they're just not going to want to see you anymore. Because all a narcissist really cares about is how they feel about themselves. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcissworthercoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.